welcome back everyone in today's video we will discuss about small language model what are they why should we consider small language model and how they perform compared to large language models here is what we will cover in this video what are small language models why do we need slms first of all we need to understand what is large language model a large language model or llm is a type of advanced artificial intelligence model designed to understand process and generate human like text based on the input it receives these models are trained on massive data sets and have billions or even trillions of parameters enabling them to perform a wide range of natural language processing gpt4 llama google palm gemini are some of the examples of llms these llms have billions or trillions of parameters but we face challenges when we use these large language models i listed some of the challenges here first one is their file size they are large file sizes gbs to tbs second challenge is hardware requirement they need high performance gbs or tbs in terms of cost llm need high training and deployment cost so when we try to use these llms we should face these issues so that's why slm in picture A small language model or SLM is a compact and efficient AI model designed for natural language processing tasks with fewer parameters compared to large language models. These models are optimized for lightweight applications requiring less computational power and memory, making them ideal for edge devices, offline applications and resource constrained environments. What are the characteristics of SLM? First one is compact size. Typically they have millions or few billion parameters. Second one, efficient. They require minimal computational resources suitable for running on CPUs or small devices. I personally faced a few issues when I tried to install a few LLMs locally because they need high computational power. So we need to use GPU or TPU. So these are some of the headaches for developers to work with large language models. But in the case of small language model, they are minimal in size and need CPU or we can run in small devices. Third one, task specific. SLM often trained for specialized tasks rather than generalized understanding. Fourth one, privacy friendly. They can process data locally, ensuring better privacy and security. So these are some of the characteristics of SLM. So when to choose SLMs over LLMs? First, limited hardware or infrastructure. If you have limited hardware or infrastructure, then you can choose SLM. Second one, privacy sensitive applications. If you are building privacy sensitive applications that require local processing, then you can choose SLM. Third one is budget constraints for AI deployment, which means financial limitations. Organizations or individuals may face financial limitation when implementing artificial intelligence solutions so you can choose if you have budget constraints fourth one is specific targeted use cases rather than broad generalized task by leveraging slms organizations and individuals can enjoy the benefits of ai without the heavy computational and financial burden of large models when we compare llms over slms in terms of parameters llms use billions to trillions but slms have millions to a few billion in terms of hardware requirement llms use high end gpus or tpus but slms need cpus or edge devices llms is expensive to train and deploy but slms are budget friendly in terms of use cases LLMs have generalized or complex tasks but SLMs task specific or offline use in terms of privacy LLM use cloud based data processing but SLMs in local with secure processing now we can look into some of the use cases of SLM first one is personalized device automation local search quickly find files documents or images stored on a laptop or device without internet connectivity smart assistants enhance personal assistance with local data analysis and personalized responses then automation automate task on personal devices like organizing folders or summarizing documents next one is iot smart home devices enable ai powered interactions with smart applications example air conditioner washing machine etc edge devices power iot devices with real time language processing like voice commands or smart thermostats 
Next use case is offline applications like privacy sensitive scenarios. Process sensitive information like medical data or financial records locally to avoid sharing data over the internet. Then offline chatbots. Create chatbots that don't rely on cloud services but can still perform basic conversational tasks. Next use case is low power devices, wearables, process fitness data, provide insights or analyze user inputs directly on smartwatches or fitness trackers, smartphones and tablets. Enable advanced NLP tasks like summarization, translation or personal note taking without requiring high end hardware. So these are some of the use cases of SLM. Now we can look into some of the SLM that are currently available. Here is a list of small language models that are currently available. First one is GPT-NEO and GPT-J with parameters few millions to several billion. Use cases, general purpose NLP task and fine tune for specific domains. Next one is Digital Bird from Hugging Face with parameters 66 million. Use cases, text classification, sentiment analysis, and other NLP task. Next one is Tiny Bird from Google with parameters that varies by version. Use cases optimized for mobile and low power devices. Next one, Albert, a light bird. Parameters reduced compared to bird. Use cases question answering, classification, and language inference. Next one is Orca from Microsoft. Parameters includes small versions like Orca 2 or Edge and IoT use cases. Evision on device AI applications. Next year, I anticipate a major focus on small language models. When that shift occurs, more developers, companies and even individuals will adopt SLMs for their applications. These models are also similar to fine tune for specific domains and tasks due to their smaller size allowing for quicker and more efficient customization. A key advantage of SLMs is their ability to process data locally, making them particularly useful for IoT devices and mobile platforms. With locally hosted small models, you can maintain privacy and security without relying on internet connectivity. I strongly believe that the coming year will mark a transformative phase in AI with a growing presence of SLMs in the market. These models will seamlessly integrate into various devices, enabling users to run them alongside their systems and computers as personal assistants or even as background tools handling essential tasks. So that's all about today's video. If you find this helpful, please consider to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.